Give you a job. We can finish it all. Let's make one more pizza. I want to talk about the difference between what we, the most popular topping in America, pepperoni, yeah. versus where pepperoni, the authentic sort of traditional version that pepperoni was derived from. The Calabrese is like, you know, a salami. It's not uh, a, a pepperoni. Even though you guys call that pepperoni, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's not the same thing, exactly. Because actually. there is no such thing as pepperoni in Italy, right? I never heard of pepperoni in my life until I moved in the United States. So pepperoni yeah. is an Americanized version of a, of a salami that's sort of based on, on the Calabrese sauce, the salami. And what makes it Calabrese? Is it the spices? Calabrese, I guess, is because of the spices. It's a spicy it's a salami. Spices with a little, uh, uh, the hand is a little fennelly. Like the taste, a small fennel yeah. uh, herb in yeah. there. Yeah. Like for instance, Here's you can the, compare the difference. Calabrese. Look at the color. And pepperoni. Pepperoni. You can see that the pepperoni color is primarily from paprika. I think that's the exactly. dominant spice, paprika. That's spicy too. And this is the too. true Calabrese. But, 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 but it's a, yeah, it's coming from Italy. Yeah. But it's a different texture altogether. This will look like. Can I try uh, a slice of this? Of course. See, I love this spicy Calabrese salami. I've had it there. We don't see it so often here, except in the high-end delis. It's actually better than pepperoni, but if you try to sell this in most American pizzerias, the customers are gonna still oh, refer to pepperoni. Okay. Pepperoni's okay, but it's kind of like the uneducated stepchild of the authentic artisanal version. So we're gonna get, we're gonna get one made right now. So we got Pepe, who's the, really the, the teacher of the teachers here. <laughs> this is his school, his restaurant, and every once in a while he gets to come back and play. Yeah. So we're letting you play a little bit today, and thank you for doing that for us. Peter, for you? Are you kidding? Hey, thank you. <laughs> it's been such an honor to be able to work with you and talk with you today and, and, and learn was... a little bit more about this, this kind of growing movement in America of traditional, the Vera Pizza Napolitana. Yeah, the movement is there. That's for sure. I'm watching this, this uh, Calabrese go on, and one of the things you said that you didn't like about pepperoni is that it's too oily, too greasy. Uh, this this, this is, is less This is really more like a traditional salami. Salami, yeah. And, and so it has specks of fat. So this one, you see, I'm not going to put any oil on. When it comes out from the oven, we're going to have some oil. All we'll right? finish it off when it comes out. Okay, that was it. We're going to uh, let this bake, and, and I think this is a really good place to sort of bring it to a to a close here because we've been able to kind of come full circle with all these ideas where we're watching traditional napolitana pizzas being made as you might find them in, in pizzerias in the city of naples itself some of the rationale behind it some of the thought that goes into it the dough using this flour typical to what you might find in naples the extensibility of the flour it's a very different kind of pizza than what we've grown up with in the united states we're using high protein flours that can be tossed and stretched and made into oversized pizzas these are 11 to 12 inches personal pizzas really one pizza per person is pretty typical in a restaurant eaten with a knife and fork despite what we may think yes okay calabresi. here's our calabresi out of the oven, just that little touch of basil on there. But see how that that salami, the Calabrese salami, has crisped up. But yet, it's not puddling up with oil. It's going to be just loaded with flavor. It was already delicious in its crudo or raw state. It's simple. Now we've got the crisp version, which is going to be like bacon. There it is. Now we're going to finish it. You were going to finish it with something, right? No, if it's it needs, ready to go. I will say. But it doesn't look, look like it needs no, it. Look, doesn't it really need it. And so no, we don't need any garnishes here. This is really ready to go. It's ready to go, man. And Pepe, as you're slicing this, I just want to thank you one more time for sharing all this time with us, for educating us Peter, into the authentic Naples style. It was not just a pleasure. It was like, you know, a, a point for me to finally discuss with somebody that I understand what he's talking about. Well, thank you, and we know that we have lots of people that are watching this who care as much as you do, who really yeah. want to know this. And, and so it's really a tremendous opportunity to get that word out. And, and, and by the end, the winning is this. It's the Neapolitan pizza, it's not us. It's not about us. It's, it's, it's right. about, it's about the pizza. God bless you, thank you so much.